Hi, uh, thanks for coming here. Um, I'm Mazi, I'm the Chief Business Officer at Zeta Labs. Um, here we're showing an example of a SLAM, uh, which is a simultaneous uh, localization and mapping using 4D imaging radar. 4D imaging radars operate at millimeter wave frequency and they could see through objects, it, it could detect objects. Uh, this is what um, uh, a lot of uh, robotics and autonomous uh, uh, vehicle companies are looking for. There's application in uh, Actec, mining, wherever that you want to map the environment. So this could go, uh, this technology at the top would go on a self-driving car or something? Yeah, it goes, yeah, except the, the camera part of it, that is for another application that is a surveillance application. But yeah, the, the, the radar part goes on to uh, a robotic um, is it uh, or a vehicle or a tractor or a mining uh, vehicle. Is it LiDAR? It's, it's, no, it's not LiDAR, it's, it's, it's radar. It's not based on light, it's, it's based on electromagnetic uh, uh, frequencies, electromagnetic waves at 76 to 81 gigahertz. The advantage of radar over LiDAR is that it works in all weather conditions. Fog, dust, snow, smoke, will not change the performance of our radar. Uh, as you can see, we see a lot of details. Here we're seeing a power line, which is nearly impossible to, to be detected using a, a camera. Uh, what we think is the future of autonomy and robotics is, is, is quite um, uh, uh, dominated by radar plus camera fusion. Uh, in 99% of applications that you want robotics out there, you would be able to have radar and cameras fused together and get you the information that you need. For anything color, you would use camera. For anything depth uh, and, and velocity, you would use a radar. And that's, that's uh, what our prediction of the future. So it says you provide the densest point cloud uh, to solve perception challenges across industries. So it's not just like self-driving cars, what are the markets maybe? <clears throat> yeah, we have a lot of different segments that we could serve. Like we have uh, a surveillance and security market where you could use cameras uh, and, and radars together. The radar in this market, uh, in this sector would help the camera. Uh, so for example, you're, you're, you're trying to protect a certain area. Uh, th so the PTZ cameras don't know where to look. But using a radar, uh, you find an intruder coming from like 200 meters away in a certain direction. The radar tells the PTZ camera to exactly turn toward that intruder and focus. And uh, you could get a license plate uh, at 200 meters if you have enough optical zoom. At the same time, you have the entire field of view covered by, by the radar. Because when the PTZ cameras focus, they don't see anything else. Like the, the, the field of view becomes very narrow. Is but it very costly in terms of power consumption? The power to consumption. Have such a wide. Yeah, the power consumption of yeah. this uh, radar, which we call Z Prime, is, um, is 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 only 20 watts. 20 watts? Yeah. And with this, can you cover a, a big field of view? Yeah, this could detect a vehicle at almost a kilometer. It detects a person, like a small sized person at 250 meters. Um, and um, and, and it, it, the detection range really depends on the RCS of the target. What's this? Yeah, this is the next generation of a radar for uh, robotics and autonomy. This is uh, more compact? This is more compact. It almost has the performance of our Z Prime, uh, but at a much lower cost. This is something that uh, we think uh, robotics and autonomous vehicles and uh, ADAS level three, four, and five would love to have. It, it, it really uh, it delivers the world-class performance at, at a fraction of a cost that... Uh, LiDAR used to be expensive, now it's cheaper, right? Yeah, you could also say, this is the case always. 
a radar will always be significantly cheaper than a LiDAR because... No matter what. No matter what. Because a, a radar does not have any mechanical moving part, does not have any electro-optical uh, co-integration. It's only silicon and, and PCB. It cannot be cheaper than that. It, it is very easy to, to, to uh, manufacture and to calibrate. Does the industry use this, or are you the, the first one to introduce this? No, it, it, there are radar companies out there, there are quite a few. We are uh, maybe the only radar company in the world that is delivering a performance that is getting close to a LiDAR. Wow. This Z Prime has an angular resolution that is 0.35 degree static and 0.1 degree dynamic. That's getting really close to a LiDAR. Because at one point you don't need more, maybe, to, because the AI and the, the like the the, the AI system and the, the, uh, the, the car, for example, could figure out stuff without having necessarily much more resolution? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah we think this resolution is, is, is very sufficient for, uh, for, for the future uh, uh, autonomous driving. And ra radar plus camera together could fuse and deliver unprecedented accuracy. Uh, we share the belief that uh, you don't need lidars for, uh, uh, for 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 driving. If you have camera and you have a radar, you're pretty much covered. But you if talk you about have all these other markets. You were talking about all these other potential use cases. Not only the self-driving cars, right? Yeah, we have uh, great customers in agriculture tech, where. Uh, the weather conditions uh, and environmental uh, on non idealities are very uh, prevalent. Like you got dust, you got sometimes smoke, you have fog, you have rain, snow, and for all of these uh, weather conditions, optical sensors really fail, like both cameras and lidars. Whereas uh, radars do fantastic. And here I see Z Prime, Z Pulse. Yes. Which one is which? This is Z Prime and this is Z Pulse. Depots, and then uh, this is a future potential applications. Yeah, well, this is an application in the mining. Um, people would love to have radars to do slam, to do obstacle detections, uh, safety, um, even a structural a structural monitoring, like walls of mines could could crumble. Uh, there are a lot of applications in the mines. So in uh, Campbell, California. Yes, we're a Silicon Valley based company. And um, uh, here with the Z-Box, are you uh, getting connected with a bunch of uh, potential at the CES 2025? Are you talking with uh, who you want to talk with? Yeah, I mean, we, we're getting a lot of traffic as you could just uh, rotate around. Like, uh, we, we, we've been talking to, like, so far, maybe 100 uh, new companies that are interested in what we're doing. Um, and uh, yeah, we are just building a relationship with uh, with, with uh, Zbox and its parent company CMA, CGM. There are a lot of opportunities for us to talk to the French companies through CMA, uh, uh, CGM. What is CG CMA, CGM? Do? I think it's the parent company of Zbox. Oh, yeah. um, All right. Yeah. Cool. So thanks a lot. All right. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank